the same people that have no problems ruining the life of a 16-year-old kid because of something he did when he was 12 years old. Those are the people that are going to demand you forgive them once the pendulum swings back. Remember what they've done. Remember the sadistic glee they took when they were destroying people's lives. Don't ever forget it. So th this story is actually from last year, but it's going to tie into a very similar one. So pay attention. They haven't changed at all. American Idol Boots finalist Caleb Kennedy over video featuring a KKK style hood. Was it really or was it just a hood? I don't know. So on the American Idol stage on Sunday, 16-year-old uh, contestant Caleb Kennedy now belted an original song dedicated to his mother. When the song ended, judges Luke Bryan, Lionel Richie, and Katy Perry were on their feet in applause. You, my friend, are a true anomaly, Bryan said in his critique, adding that Kennedy's song sounded like a wise man wrote it. Richie called him gifted and said the song uh, will be a smash record until they tanked his career. So by the end of the episode, Kennedy won a spot with the show's fi a final five group of contestants. But Kennedy's promising future on American Idol came to an abrupt end Wednesday now, after a video circulated online that showed the South Carolina native sitting next to a friend wearing a white hood reminiscent of the garb worn by the KKK. And of course, it was a fucking blue check that was canceling him, huh? Yeah, look at that. You got this fucking piece of shit blue check launching a hate mob against the kid. Now, again, if, if he was an adult, I mean, actually, even then, I, I think it's kind of sickening that people get canceled for jokes or saying words. But uh, this, this kid was 12 years old and his whole life has to be destroyed because of this. Now, ABC confirmed that Candy would no longer be a part of the competition, adding that the Sunday episode will feature the top four finalists instead. Candy also announced his departure Wednesday and apologized for the video and statement posted on social media accounts. Now, he was 16 at the time, so I mean, at the time he apologized. Like he, He's literally a fucking kid. They played this poor kid. Now, I know this has hurt and disappointed a lot of people and made people lose respect for me. He wrote, I'm so sorry. I pray that one day I can regain your trust in who I am and have your respect. Thank you for supporting me. Oh my. Yeah, do you really want to suck up to the people who are willing to literally destroy you for something you did when you were 12? Like everyone listening right now, especially if you're older, what how how much shit did you do when you were a teenager? When you were actually this a preteen, he was 12 years old. How much shit did you do when you were 12 that could get you canceled nowadays if the internet existed back then and, and there was a permanent record of it? So so anyone that has skeletons in their own closet that cancels a fucking 12-year-old kid. Yeah, fuck you right up the ass. You deserve no forgiveness after all is said and done. Now, the three-second video, which was sent on Snapchat, shows Candy leaning against a wood-paneled wall wearing a blue T-shirt and baseball cap. After one second, he turns his phone to a friend sitting next to him. His face was obscured except for two cut-out eyes by what appeared to be a white KKK hood. So it wasn't even him wearing the hood. It was his friend. So he got canceled by proxy. But because of a joke his friend did when he was 12 years old. So the video went viral when YouTube uh, comedian, yeah, yeah, blue check fucking piece of shit. Uh, Deaf Noodles, his real name is Dennis uh, Fitosa, posted a video on Twitter at midnight Tuesday as of uh, early Thursday at 60,000 views. In a statement uh, to, to the uh, Spartanburg Herald Journal, Candy's mother, Anita Guy, said the videos were taken when the single was 12 years old. She said the clip was not referencing the KKK, but rather the movie The Strangers Pray at Night. Not like they fucking care. They don't care about the fucking truth. Yeah, these, pe these fucking evil pieces of shit, they will gladly burn a fucking teenager for something he did when he was a preteen. And they will expect us to forgive them. Go fuck yourselves. I hate that this happened. Now, Caleb is being portrayed by people online, Guy said. Caleb doesn't have a racist bone in his body. He loves everyone and has friends of all races. Yeah, the fact that you could joke like this should be the proof of that. Now, on social media, Candy said the video displayed actions that were not meant to be taken in that way. 
I was younger, did not think about the actions, but that's not an excuse. He said, I want to say sorry to all my fans, Evan, who I have let down. And, and I know, I know, he already made a mistake by apologizing. But once again, you got to remember, th this is a fucking 16-year-old kid. He's being dogpiled by the whole internet. Like, the entire far-left hate mob is on his ass. And on top of that, he's surrounded by people that are giving him bad advice. I do say he definitely made a mistake apologizing to the hate mob, but he, he's just a fucking kid. So yeah, he, he, he fucked up here, but I put the blame on whoever, uh, whoever was handling his PR really. No, a high school sophomore from uh, Roebuck, South Carolina. Candy grew a local audience uh, with his live performances. So uh, oh, before, uh, before auditioning for American Idol. In the hours since the news broke about Candy's departure, American Idol swiftly erased Candy from its social media platforms. Video of the singer are gone from the show's Instagram. I'm surprised that show even still exists, if I'm being honest. Who still watches that shit? And I think uh, the, the last time I was even aware that these, uh, you know, these American Idol or X countries got talent, etc. shows even existed was when uh, was, fuck, uh, Susan Boyle was still topical. And that was a long fucking time ago. Yeah, even videos from Saved Story highlights skip over Candy. The show's Twitter feed no longer uh, has posts uh, instructing viewers how to vote for him. His past performance is no longer available on the YouTube channel. Judges and host uh, Ryan Seacrest have not publicly addressed Candy's departure. ABC has not uh, indicated how the show will handle the news during Sunday's episode. <laughs> well, you, you, you know they're a bunch of cocks. I mean, I think you could guess. And again, even this story was a bit of a warm-up for the next one because this story was from last year. Another one happened recently. Florida Yanks top quarterback prospect Marcus Strokes scholarship after rapping N-word in video. Oh my God, he sang a song and, and he said a word that was in the fucking song. We got to destroy his life, guys. Sorry, he said a word. His whole life is over. He should have known better than to say a word. He's literally worse than Hitler. The University of Florida has rescinded a football scholarship offer to a high school prospect for using the dreaded power word N while singing a fucking song. No standout quarterback Marcus Strokes of Nice High School in uh, Ponte Vedra Beach posted a video of himself mimicking the lyrics as he rode in a car. Welcome back, Power Dan. He can be heard saying in the uh, since deleted two second clip. Oh, uh, yep, literally worse than Hitler. We 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 gotta cancel him, man. Yep, cancel the kid. Remember, guys, these are the fucking pieces of shit that are gonna demand you forgive them. They happily destroy the lives of kids for the high crime of singing a fucking song. And they pat themselves on the back thinking they're defeating evil or something. And they're going to expect you to forgive them for all this evil shit they're happily doing. So I was in my car listening to rap music, rapping along with the words and posted a video of it to my social media. Strokes wrote in a statement Sunday. I deeply apologize for the words in the song, which I chose to say. Okay. Yeah, already fucked up. Apologizing. Now, Stokes, who played the same high school as University of Florida legend Tim Tebow, uh, confirmed that his offer has been revoked after the incident. Now, now at this point, just go to a different school. I I'm sure there's got to be at least one fucking college with a decent football team that, that uh, won't completely cuck out. Now, my intent is never to hurt anyone. I recognize that even going along with the song, my words still carry a lot of weight, he said. Uh, but you're, he's... I guess he's already castrating himself, yeah. Unfortunately, I think that that's it for his future. <laughs> I, I doubt he has one after this. No, Strokes received uh, more than a dozen offers on Division I college programs and flipped his commitment from Penn State to Florida in July. Time to go back to Penn State, I guess. So fellow Florida ra uh, prep star Roderick Kearney, who is heading to the University of Florida, offered some st uh, solace to Stokes amid the controversy. The non-troversy, sorry. Oh, prayers to out to Marcus Stokes and his family. The rest of his indoctrination and college football decision, he wrote. Kid with a lot of heart. As a young man in society, we must be careful about the things we do say or post. Everything's under a microscope. Yeah. Yeah, he also, he wrote, he understands the reverse. Oh, he's cucking out too, huh? Does this not lend weight to, to, what, to what I've been saying all along? 
This is why, like, you don't you don't be social on social media. This is what just having fun and being social gets you. No, man. Everything you say that's publicly visible, make it as sanitized as possible. Only communicate with your direct friends and family in in private DMs, and even then, always assume they're going to be leaked because they always are somehow. Yeah, and and whenever any of these lunatics tries to start a fight with you, just block them immediately. D don't talk to them. Yeah, they just shit like this happening. This is going to put us back so far, it's not even funny. Like, this is what's going to kill social interaction. Because now, uh, you know, what do you think is going to happen when all the middle and high school kids that, that see what happened to this guy and they're going to be like, yeah, I'm just going to delete my Twitter account. I'm just going to delete my social media. Fuck that. <laughs> nope. Like, no, no, I'm not going to talk to you. I don't know if this is being recorded and it's going to be used to cancel me in the future. I mean, if nothing else, I mean, I actually think this this guy should uh, he's what at least 18, I'm guessing, if he's going to college, maybe 17. I mean, I, 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 I man, I don't know. That's still pretty young. Maybe he'd still be too stupid to realize the best solution is to not apologize. Like, like unfortunately, with these young kids like this. They're just following the bad advice that the people around them give them. So, so his parents probably told him to apologize because back when they were his age, apologizing actually made problems go away. He probably had some legal or PR people just telling him to apologize. And he did. He made the, and th that's the same thing that happened with Vic Mignogna actually. A and he's far from a young guy nowadays. He only issued that legendary apology because that's what he was advised to do by a bunch of fucking idiots. So I, I guess the solution is you're just going to have to stop listening to idiots. If you hurt some fucking idiots feelings and then other idiots are telling you, oh, just apologize. That'll make the problem go away. The only apology you should give is I'm sorry you're such an easily offended dickless bitch. Like that's the only apology they fucking deserve. Yeah, yeah, keep keep this in mind, man. The same people that support canceling kids for what they did but when they were even preteens, they're going to expect that you forgive them for the the evil that they gleefully performed while they were full-grown adults. Now, nah, fuck the whole lot of them. Once they get what's coming to them, once the pendulum swings back, like one, once they find themselves unhirable, they get what they fucking deserve. And any cucks that uh, try to help them out, you should also cut ties with. Yeah, I love their targeting kids to harm them. Yeah, isn't it weird? I mean, I think they're starting to realize that us old boomers are figuring the shit out. Like, if they come after me for this shit, they know what my response is going to be. So they're not even bothering. They're, they're going to go after these fucking kids that don't know any better. That have fucking idiot parents that don't know any better. Yeah, they, they always go after the easiest targets.